Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Phantom Menace and the Boycott Crew. It's time to make a stand. Yep, this is real as it gets, but it's also time for us to come correct. Be true to ourselves with the things that we love. We must stand firm or it will turn to dust. It may turn to dust anyway, but whatever. Just as long as I see us all stand together. The madness of this world at an all-time high. But they can't stop us as we go testify. Identity politics has no damn place to be in the same space of those who are fake. Bad enough, the other snakes is trying to win the race. But the Phantom Menace is back on the case. Holler back at the kid, always state the fact. But stay committed, cause there's no going back. My wisdom is supreme with the things that I've seen, but I won't stop until the franchise is redeemed. Come on. We all gotta stand strong. This is our last year to lock this shit down. You heard? And I'm gonna be helping to lead the charge. Did you really need to do that to Luke? Did you really need to distort the truth? Did you really need Leia Bulletproof? And turn Star Wars into a comedy spoof? I guess that's the way they really wanna go. That's fine by me, cause I'm here to let them know. I'll stay on your ass with my foot on your neck. I'ma force you bitches to show some respect. Pablo twisting everything that he sees. And geek girl diva just stays on her knees. Brie Larson doesn't want the white man around. But that bitch is white too, so how does that sound? Go woke and go broke, that's what I like to hear. Cause your ass don't care till the money disappears. All of that was done by the boycott crew Salute us baby cause you know we coming through Come on I am not going to stop Until this shit is either burnt down Or turned around But I'm showing love to all my peoples in the struggle Shout out to the peeps on the front line Standing strong so they won't make a dime Sith, rookie, drunk, creepy old Black Angus, you know how they roll Flipped out proper, General Catan Brandon boys, I am Wolf at the dawn Odin, my brother, and John talks too Stephanie, Mary, and Bonnie who rules Salty, radical, and data racer Mark with the C, Ichibaka, what's up? Jesse, Jeremy, and SC My brother Doomcock always take the lead No way my bro, comics pro, world class Demogenai is the first and the last Whoever I miss, I'll get you next time I'm a man of my word, cause I wanna make you shine Come on Yeah We gotta lock this down, ladies and gentlemen So welcome once again to the high ground, I am your host, the Baron of Cloud City himself, the one and only and not from Sony, never a phony or a punk ass macaroni, Abu Nas. I'm also the president of the Abu Nas Rehabilitation Center. And guess what, folks? Guess what? We are living at the end times right about now. Seriously, we are. I, that, my rehabilitation center obviously is still filled to capacity, but there's been some rumblings, man, that people are just like, pff, they're, they're itching to get out. Because the social justice warriors is, 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 is doing their thing, and they are pretty much doubling down on just about everything on their loan level. I'll tell you what. With the recent things that's been going on, it's definitely clear to me in every conceivable way that the sequel trilogy, this whole franchise overall, including Marvel, can't be saved under any circumstances. I kind of wavered a little bit because people was trying to stay on the positive side of things, and and yeah, I, I'm, I'm you know I'm trying to follow the, the the pulse of the fandom, but it is clear. After the things that's been going on that, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much committed to doubling down. Just like they doubling down. Because that's all it is. It's a circle jerk of people doubling down on their bullshit. You know? The Galaxy... The Galaxy cartoon thing was pretty much a blatant, blatant social justice warrior indoctrination to emasculate Luke Skywalker. I mean, if, if they didn't do it on purpose, that coincidence was just so jarring that in and of itself, it set the fandom on fire. 
both on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, anywhere you see social media and you saw, saw that clip a Princess Leia look mean mugging it on the screen. Mean mugging it on the screen for no reason. Blast the boats and everything. And then she saw Luke. Luke in the cartoon had all these the the, uh, the grappling hook wires all around him and he said, uh, looked like he's struggling. And Princess Leia looked at him like you a fucking idiot. <laughs> you an idiot. And she gave him the back slap. But, well, slapped him so hard in his face, pushed him out of the um the, the um the line of sight view. And then she just kept firing. Excuse the fuck out of me. That wasn't in the movie. In the real movie, you know, where they adapted that cartoon from. Now in my head, I'm like, okay. I, I see that you're trying to prove some sort of point that Leia's in control and the men need to take a step back. But that's always been Lucasfilm whole M.O. ever since the sequel trilogy started. So to me, they doubling down. All right. I mean, I, I, cause, uh, there's been many of my, uh, uh, my brothers in the Phantom Menace and the Boycott crew that made videos to slap this shit down. Sif, Drunk, uh, General Catan, you know, Exaggerated Nation. A, a, a lot of us, Jeremy, everybody. We breaking this down because we know that this shit was just blatant, and you really just trying to prove, uh, push the the narrative that men are bad, women has to be es escalated, elevated to the to the point where they're basically superhuman, and they can't feel no pain, no no character, nothing. And like I said, Leia was perfect the way she was. Especially in the film, she took control. She took charge. She did all the things that that, that, that that other clip where they was in the hallway. You know, they had Leia in the cartoon kicking Chewie down the shaft. That didn't happen in the movie, but they changed the things to fit the narrative. That sometimes, as the narrator says, sometimes the princess has to save the day. And I'm like, but she did that already. She didn't have to emasculate and made Luke and Han look like a bunch of buffoons. And obviously, she wasn't the one that kicked Chewie down the shaft. It was Han. So they they basically changing and switching shit up to fit their thing. And you know what? That's fine. That's fine. Because it's their property. They can do whatever they want with it. You know? So they pretty much can change the whole narrative of the entire OT trilogy just to fit whatever narrative they're trying to look for. Okay, so since we know that, now we know what we got to do. Because, you, because you're not taking into, into account that the films are canon, so they can't be touched. So why are you doing it with the cartoons? If you're talking about having kids get, in doc, you know, uh, uh, get into the Star Wars movies or get into the Star Wars through the cartoons to show, you know what? My my ideology is that you could have done a whole lot better with the cartoons and, and putting your agendas first as opposed to recreating the scene scene by scene in cartoon form. Because now that you fucked that up, me, I'm sitting up here like the cartoons are worthless. The Galaxy Adventures is worthless to me at this point. If I'm going to get a little kid, I'm going to sit him in front of the camera or sit him in front of the TV and throw on A New Hope, The Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, The Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith. That's, I'll put a kid in front of that to watch, let them watch the film. And let them know what real canon is from the start. That's it. Because you can't tell me nothing else that's going to convince me that what you did... Had had devastating consequences on the fan on the real fandom that know that all of that that you put in that cartoon wasn't represented in the wasn't a representation of what the film actually was. You know, I remember uh, my brother Rookie Critic. You know, shout out to you, Rookie Critic. I love you, man. You know, Rookie Critic put out a video and he gave a a, a different take on it. And in some ways, I, I watched it twice and I've seen where he was coming from. You know, in, in the swing of things, maybe kids attention span may not really grasp at how fucked up the way they did that. And we can only hope that they don't 
they look at it and they just look at it in in the type of way where it's like okay it's fun it's funny and they you know see lots of colorful things and blah 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 you know my only problem with that and like i said if it, if it does if it doesn't make any headway in terms of where the little kids is concerned then that's fine you know because it's still hope for them to get put in front of the tv and actually see the real films for the rest of us though it's a slap in the face you know because we can't unsee what our eyes saw knowing that it wasn't true you know and rookie critic tried to put a, a different stem, spin on it whereas it doesn't really affect the kids you know on so much of a level like it's affecting us and i agree with him you know it doesn't the kids is just watching it just a hoo hee hee ha but for us we like what the what oh you could no no that's a bullshit no that's our response so it's it's on a different level but the but the you know the thing is still the same you know at the end of the day after seeing that now i'm going to put my kids not in front of no galaxy adventure cartoon no i'm going to put them in front of the films and let them see it in the pure canon form that it, that it was intended so you don't confuse these kids cuz they're going to get confused regardless <laughs> And then we got to sit them down and tell them, no, that's some social justice warrior propaganda bullshit that they threw out there. You know? But meanwhile, that alone told me that, okay, they're going to keep doing what they're doing. And for me, that that's a no bueno. I'm not tro- tolerating that shit on the first, on, on the last. Never. I'm, I'm, like I said, locking it up, locking low. I'm ready to roll. <laughs> and if that's not bad enough, you know, your boy, uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Story Group, Super, uh, uh, Mr. Story Group, Brain Trust, that that beta cuck the hippie. Oh, that's Ryan Johnson. That beta cuck cameraman, Pablo Hidalgo. You know, somebody told him in the tweet, yo, you need to rewatch the movies, man, because the, the, the progression that Luke was on, he was, you know, we knew he was progressing to be a great Jedi Knight and a badass as well. You know, and then Pablo with his little dumbass. Oh, well, uh, uh, I don't think pairing badass and, and, and Jedi is such an interesting take. It. You know what? You know he's trolling. And you know he's saying stupid shit to really get the fans up in arms. Well, <laughs> congratulations, you fat butterball bean ass, stupid ass punk. Yeah, you did get a, you did get us up in arms because we already peaked. That the fact that you have no concept and no clue as to really what makes Luke Skywalker's character the way he is. How did you even get into the story, or the so-called story group? Well, the story group ain't there no more because your girl Kiri Hart is out of here. And because Kiri Hart was out of here, because she greenlit Ryan Johnson, let him do what he wanted to do, just to gave him free reign to do whatever. And then to have your dumb ass following behind her, poking this and that and throwing this in there. And, 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 come on. But as you can see, she's gone. So the narrative now is that it's not the fact that the Phantom Menace and the Boycott crew pretty much changed the whole, the, the whole trajectory of Disney in terms of how they treat Lucasfilm because Kathleen Kennedy is just sitting around the office. No power. Kiri Hart is gone. Not working there no more. Even though she's a consultant. Yeah, that's just a fancy way of saying, oh, we might peep in with her every now and again. Maybe. Shit, George Lucas was supposed to be a consultant. Y'all, y'all shitting on him faster than the Flash. And he wasn't even seen again. So I can imagine what y'all doing with Carrie Hart. And I, yeah, and that was the maker. So Carrie Hart, pff, you will never see that bitch again. Never. <laughs> so with that being said, Pablo, here you go. Now you on Twitter. Got nothing the fuck to do. Because I don't see you doing anything constructive in terms of... Be- because J.J. is back on episode 9. So that means your dumb ass is out of the equation once again. <laughs> and now, you, of course, you ain't putting on your Twitter handle that you work at Lucasfilm. Uh, you a senior director. But, uh, no, you just some... Um, you keep changing little bullshit avatars and put down like, Oh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm just here to just... Uh, it, it, just some stupid old shit. Knowing that you're just, you're just existing. You may collect the paycheck from Lucasfilm, or you may not. We don't know, really. Really, because since Kerry Hart's out and there's no more story group, what is your actual function, Pablo? I, I wonder. You know what? I don't even want to know. 
You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, man, you know, I'm banging your wife out something hard. I'm smacking her ass. Mm, damn, Mrs. Pablo. Mm, fuck out. Ooh, mm. but what's your husband doing back there? Hey, stop that jerking off. Hey, 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 hey. Hold the camera. Don't whack off. Just hold the camera. Your wife needs to get, your wife needs to get, you know, taken care of, man. Hey, girl, don't you wink at me. That's that shit I'm on. You heard? So come on. You got nothing to do, Pablo, but just spit out whimsical nonsense to get the fans pissed off. And then you're going to still, and you, you, you pour gasoline on the fire. Oh, my God, my man. You just helping out, cause you're helping it. You're helping it like nobody else. And, I'm, and, I, and, I still, and I swear, every time I'm getting mad about you doing this shit, the other side of my brain is saying, no, 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 Abunas. Let him keep doing it. Let him keep doing it because all it is is just going to get the fans up in arms and we're going to be locking this shit down. I mean, if this doesn't convince that all the shit that went down between this and Pablo, if that doesn't convince you to lock this shit down, burn it to the ground, I don't know what will. Add insult to injury. Now you got Mark Hamill going to be on a show called Nightfall. Now, I got into that show uh, last season about the Knights Templar. It was a pretty, it was, it was pretty good. I liked it. I rocks with it, you know? And now when I found out that Mark Hamill was going to be in it, I was like, all right, that's good. But what part was he going to play? Now you see the trailer. God damn. Full, full uh, Luke Skywalker, uh, a Jedi Grandmaster beard. But he's talking with authority. He's dropping wisdom. He's dropping knowledge. And he got the, the sword and he's taking up the fight. What? So you mean to tell me a, a show on the History Channel that, ta- that talks about the Knights Templar is about to show the entire world how badass Luke Skywalker was supposed to be? Disney, you are a fucking embarrassment. Do you know that this show, Nightfall, is going to blow the fuck up? It's coming out, the the, the first episode is going to be out in March. It's going to be, the the first episode is going to be the highest rated show on the fucking planet. Because once you see Luke Skywalker in the glory that he's supposed to be, it's going to blow everybody's minds. Oh, I can't wait till they uh, uh, Photoshop the lightsaber and, and, and all that in there. That's gonna even make it. That's gonna make it, it make it worse, because this is how we wanted to see our hero in action. Instead of just, uh, oh Jesus Christ, oh God, titties. <laughs> Come on. I mean, you can. Get, I I can't wait. I seriously can't wait. But just the fact that they brought, they dropped the trailer and just seeing Mark Hamill in him, oh my God, he's like, he's energized, he's ready, and he's dropping lines and giving him something, something to do. No thanks to that dumbass J.J. Abrams. Now he got something to do. That's insult to injury. That just makes Lucasfilm and, and fake, fake Lucasfilm even more bad. Make him look even bad. Make it worse. Don't make no problem. It made no difference to me. Because I'm still staying on my ground with the boycott. That's it. <laughs> and on another note, Marvel over there losing their goddamn minds too. Brie Larson. My goodness, baby girl. I, how do you... I, if somebody said, the chick is racist. Is it, well, you, no, I disagree with that. You can't be racist against your own race. That That's an oxymoron. You can't. <laughs> if you white, you white. <laughs> you can only be racist on a, 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 a of a color and ethnicity not your own. I mean, she just for whatever reason she hates the white man, and she doesn't really have a reason to do that because she's a virtual sig- a, a, a signaling activist because she want to show the different races that they are important. We already know we're important. I mean, I could appreciate. You know, our Caucasian brothers and sisters wanted to stand with us in the struggle. I can appreciate that. But come on, Bree. You taking that shit way out in left field. Because I don't need you to speak for me. You know, I know how to make my voice heard. And I'm real, real good at that. 
you know? But I'm on the militant level, you know? So I don't have no problem calling out people that I feel is racist. I don't have a problem, you know, speaking my opinions and this, that, whatever, and fight for the things that I need to fight to have equality and real social justice in this country. I don't have a problem doing that. As a matter of fact, I've been doing that shit for years. And many other black folk, many other Indians and Native Americans who are the true Americans of this country, you know, other ethnicities, Chinese, you know, Pakistani, you know, they have to deal with a whole bunch of, 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 of racist shit, you know, in terms of the faith, my faith, you know, but we taking it all in stride. We trying to be good people. But yeah, like I said, there's a lot of racism going on over here, you know, but it is what it is. And we, like I said, we navigating through it. But for Brie Lawson to do what she do and say what she say in terms of just marginalizing your own race, that don't make no type of sense. For what? Because, like I said, you impressing some of these, you know, uh, uh, groups that I guess you want to virtue signal and be like the white knight, like Queen Elizabeth or something, you know, where everybody just looks up to her in awe or whatever. But no. Because your arrogance is making you, is, is basically having the opposite effect. It's making people turn against you. Making you, making people see you for the fraud that you are. But for whatever reason, Marvel is doing the loop thing. They sucking this shit up. And you just alienating a major large fan base that's not going to support or pay money to go see this shit. Because you act like white people as a whole can't enjoy the product or they're not worthy to enjoy the product. It's kind of fucked up, you know, especially when a white woman is saying that about your own race and you should be ashamed of yourself. But, hey, you, you don't even want white people in the damn um, in, in, in the, in the uh, press, press, uh, um, uh, the press junkets and stuff. Yikes. So much for good reviews, right? <laughs> and even then, she doubling down. So Marvel is on the same level as Disney fake Lucasfilm. Everybody going woke. Everybody going to get broke. That's the, that's the tagline. And I wholeheartedly agree. You know? But it don't bother me so much with Brie Lawson because I wasn't going to see the movie anyway. Like I said, it's just a cheap knockoff of Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman did it the best. I'm sorry, Bree. You're not Gal Gadot. That's my girl. That's my queen. She could be badass. She can, you know, uh, uh, stick up for the minorities. She could do this. She could do that. But she spreads love and she's personable and she got a beautiful smile. You know? But she's a warrior, a noble warrior, hero. Embarrassing. You don't even have that shit. The damn cat in the trailer got more charisma than you. But we're going to see how that plays out. Yeah, it may make a little bit of money on the opening day because a lot of these social justice warrior, man hating, you know, uh, uh, cat, uh, 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 cat officiados is going to run to the theater with their purple, green, and orange hair to go see it. That's fine. But it's still not going to make a dent because the majority of us is not even going to pay it no mind. And you gotta, you gotta actually see these people have the corporations have to see exactly what's gonna happen to them when the money dries up. Then they gonna have to change their whole tune because money talks, bullshit walks. I don't care how pro social justice warrior and and uh, identity politics and all that you want, you ain't making no money. Shit gonna change, guaranteed. So let's watch and see what happens. You know. But on another note. As far as Star Wars, but my, my, my main focus is Star Wars, you know, my main focus is Star Wars and yeah, we in February and all this shit is going down now. We ain't even get the, uh, the, the celebration in April and I can only imagine what kind of fuckery and all types of chicanery is going to go on towards the, uh, towards the thing with the, um, the celebration. They may drop the trailer there finally, you know, but there's no way you can save this, this thing with one movie. Bad enough, Pablo got the, you know, the Jedi and looking like, you know, like pacifists. They're not supposed to be badass. But the fact that you had a lightsaber in your hand 
you know, and you're fighting for uh, um, um, peace and justice in the galaxy, what are you going to do? You're fighting peace and ju justice in the galaxy by singing, Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. No, you're supposed to get up in people's ass, shoot with the lightsaber, force a pole, and all of that. Come on. Well, check out, if you really want the, the hot, the hardcore breakdown, check out Sif Kryptonian's latest video. That alone will explain everything in a nutshell. He's doing my work for me. <laughs> shout out to you, Sif Kryptonian. You know, shout out to you, Rookie Critic. Shout out to you, Black Angus, Drunk Creepy Your Thoughts Senate. Shout out to the Senate. You know? But yeah, man. For me... I, I'm standing strong on this boycott. There's no way I'm changing my mind. I am going to try to burn this shit down. I'm not tolerating nothing that goes against everything that I saw and I believe to be true to George Lucas's vision. Because they're basically bastardizing this between the cartoon, you know, between these tweets, between all these sucker for love, you know, mindless sheep. Excuse me, for... Basically, just not even realizing that this thing, this thing is dead in the water. So whatever JJ's going to do, we'll see in the trailer, and then we'll make our final assessment. But then again, it, it makes no difference to me. You know, I just had to come on here because I've been going for a long while. You know, I've been sick, and, and thank you so much to everybody that, you know, gave me my well wishes for my recovery and everything else. Special shout out to Stephanie Kenobi and Tina B ballet dancer oh my gosh the, the, the three queens on the throne just love y'all to death uh star wars for life roof it's another one. Oh my goodness my queen thank you but um but other than that everybody i'm sorry i wasn't as entertaining as i could have been like i said I've, I've been out of practice for a minute so i'm trying to get back in the swing of things i'm gonna be you know trying to pump out a little bit more videos and get some live stream going because like i said it, things is getting getting to ramp up and we got to be on point or on, on the ready and 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 and, and stand strong together to lock this shit down because obviously you know pablo and his little you know his his little followers oh they just hanging on his every word and, and you know they're trying to get at us, so we got to hit them hard back. So, and with that being said, you know, thank you again for hanging out with your brother. You know, this is the high ground. I'm so glad that you was able to stay as long as you did 27 minutes. Okay, I got to get up out of here. Um, if you like this video, which I do hope you do, if you like this video, press the like button. Because I need the like buttons to sort of like get the algorithm thing going, you know. The like button. Um, press the notification and you know so you can be alerted to when Abu Nas gets off his lazy ass <laughs> and put out more videos on the regular you know what I'm saying but you know hit that notification press the like and your comments please put comments down there cause lord have mercy I love to read all y'all comments I really do you know I love all my subscribers with a passion thank you so much for hanging out with me for as long as you did and like I said man this is 2019 this is our time to shine we gotta lock this shit down we gotta lock this shit down with purpose and I'm talking about purpose with with the conclusion that if we can't have what we want in our Star Wars universe, then we'll take what George Lucas gave to us and then we'll ride off into the sunset because you already destroyed any any and everything else that could have came with it. And as far as the streaming service is concerned, it's a wait and see attitude. Hopefully, John Favreau can knock it out the park with The Mandalorian and maybe, you know, uh, Benioff and Weiss, after they do Game of Thrones and they got their three movie trilogy that they starting, hopefully they'll do the over public and do that some justice. But it, everything is a wait and see. As far as the sequel trilogy is concerned, it's dead in the water as far as I'm concerned. And I'm, I'm going to spread that gospel to any and everybody that was in the sound of our voice that want to listen to your brother, you know? So that's that's pretty much it. So let's let's just send everybody out the right way. Um, like I said, just stay tuned for more content because you know your brother's about to get on his on his bullshit. You know. Uh oh. Uh. You already know what it is, man. Come on. Now. Now listen. I got a lot of enemies. Hold on, hold on, hold on, rewind selector, rewind, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a lot of enemies walking around here. I got people that's hating on me. Somebody told me I was a wannabe tough guy. 
I ain't never said I was tough. I just said I'm as real as they come. You know, I got my my face. It's on the avatar. This is my face. Where I live, where I grew up, it's only in the bio. I mean, I, I already know half of y'all bastards ain't going to do nothing other than just keep typing on your smartphones. That I know for a fact, you know. And if you're in the New York area and you really feeling froggy, we can get it cracking. It is not that difficult. I turn this shit off in a minute. I'm not, I'm not here to play games with you kids, man. I'm a grown ass man. You know, I try to keep it funky. I try to keep it respectful. But if you really want to get down, it is not that difficult, man. I made videos of where I work. And I, I'm, I'm, like I said, people get threatened because I know that, you know, Comics Pro gets, you know, little death threats and all of this. And I'm looking at it like, yo, what, what is wrong with these people? You know, it's that serious where you got to threaten people's livelihoods, for their family and this, that, whatever. And I and I pray, you know, I'm sending my prayers and everything else to Comics Pro Secret Ethan. You know, stand strong, brother. You know what I'm saying? Don't put up with their bullshit and stuff and just stay doing you. You know, because half the time these dickheads is talking out their ass. But for the people that actually may want to get froggy, I don't fear nothing but a law. You know, me dying takes all the sins away from me. But... I love my faith because my faith tells me I can fight. And I've been doing that since I was yay big. So I dare any one of y'all to get on some bullshit. And I'm, and I'm being real. So this ain't me talking tough. I'm just telling you exactly what it is. I'm not laughing or joking or bullshitting or nothing. Y'all feeling froggy? Y'all want to set it off? Y'all talking reckless and out of character? Come on and see me then. Like I said, DM me, whatever. I'll let you know exactly where I'm at. I dare you. <laughs> because you know you ain't coming up in the hood doing no type of wild shit. You're not. <laughs> so, but other than that, I got a lot of enemies, so I got to address that. And this is how it's gonna go, baby. Uh-uh. Damn, 32 minutes? Damn, I'm up here. Yo, I gotta get going. Check it out. Priest looked at you as he started to speak. It's time for you to, to join the deceased. You started to cry cause you didn't know why. Challenging Abu Nas would cause your demise. You knew it was your pride, but you had to try. And begged the priest to keep you alive. The priest only smiled as he started to speak. Even though you burn in hell, you will rest in peace. Don't you ever to try to defy the most high. You will get the power to the... Oh, sacro brethren. Wait a minute, wait a minute, let me bring that, let me bring that back, let me bring that back. Hold on, hold on. Let me do this one more time. 32 minutes, let me, I'm gonna speed this up. Yo, check it out. Priest looked at you as he started to speak. It's time for you to join, yes, the deceased. He started to cry cause you didn't know why. Challenging Abu Nas would cause your demise. You knew it was your pride, but you had to try. And begged the priest to keep you alive. The priest only smiled as he started to speak. Even though you burn in hell, you will rest in peace. Don't you ever to try to defy the most high. You'll get baptized in the fire as you die. Your lies only got you as far as you can hide. You just got exposed, now it's time to testify. Don't you fret, there may be hope for you yet. You first you repent and gain my respect. If that's not your style, you will taste defeat, and then afterward, you will rest in peace. That's my word. The bird is the word. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm not in the suburbs. Back again, brethren, to hold it down for the true super friend. A.B. Supreme S.E. 40 Thieves don't believe that we back in these streets. Let me breathe lyrically. You kids can receive the wisdom and the light that you suck is so need. Back there on the set, above the rest, oh yes. Phantom Menem is the best. Projects we respect. The boycott crew better than the rest. Hold it. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by to the high ground. Hopefully you all have a wonderful evening. Stand strong to the boycott. Stand strong to each other. Hold each other down and respect the maker George Lucas on everything. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one.